Hello guys, my name is Michael. Today we are going to talk uh, again about toggle buttons, but uh, this uh, time uh, is not about the CSS, it's about the toggle button itself and uh, functions which can help you to work with it and so on. Before we proceed, uh, I want you to know uh, that uh, I made some small changes to make uh, main a little bit smaller, which means uh, I create a function. Uh, create a window, the function is like this uh, GTK widget create window uh, which is a pointer to a function uh, which returns uh, GTK widget this is the same uh, what uh, uh, our, window, our windows is and uh, this I let the same uh, uh, program part here and uh, I return the window so that we can use it in main and uh, we'll, we had here our pointer we point this time to our function I run the program it's nothing special I'll hit the button the button close like it should do in the way the program is designed and works fine but the toggle button is not a button to be clicked and to close the program. The toggle button is a button which can be pressed and can be released and uh, we can take benefit of this button uh, because it has two, uh, three stasis. I mean it has two but there is one state and between state which uh, we will cover it. I know uh, maybe in a, another video. Anyway, uh, you should know now that there are only two states. Press it and release it. So. Uh, after I was running the program, as you can see, uh, when I was clicking here, the program closed, and this is wrong. Why? Let's see. Uh, let's let's see at the beginning uh, the functions uh, which we have. There are properties, there are signals, and so on. Well, the first one is the signal, which is toggle. The only signal which used is uh, toggle. But here we use click it. Okay, this is wrong. This is the wrong uh, signal. But before we proceed, uh, let's talk a little bit about this function. We are not uh, going to talk too much because uh, we are going to talk about signals and events a little bit later. But we need to talk about this function because uh, uh, this function has to has some changes which we had to do it today. And uh, for this, we had to we have to talk a little bit about it. So, um, here I searched the function for you, again, uh, developer.gnome.org, here is uh, the function which uh, we are talking about, it's a macro, anyway, <coughs> connects a gcallback function to a signal for a particular object, gcallback function means uh, there are a lot of options, so gcallback function. Uh, the type used for callback function instructor definition and function signatures. This doesn't mean that all callback functions must take no parameters and return weight. Okay? Uh, must take no parameters and return weight. Uh, just remember that. We will talk about this uh, in a time. Uh, the required uh, callback function is determined by the context in which it's used. For example, which kind of signal uh, is connected and so on. You should have to cast the callback function to a G callback. What means this? We'll talk uh, in a second. Okay, I go out. Uh, this function has four parameters. The first one is the instance, uh, which uh, to connect to in this. Uh, uh, the, the instance now is for us is the toggle button, the detail signal, we already seen the signal which is only one is toggle signal and uh, the third one is uh, the G callback to connect to, this is uh, the function which uh, we, we already talked here and the third one is the data to pass, data to pass to see handle calls. Well, uh, the data Data is just a parameter, like a regular parameter. Uh, if you are, uh, you have a function when you create it, and uh, this function returns something or not, but takes some parameters. This means when you call this fun function, you need to pass some arguments to that function because uh, this function expects those uh, arguments as parameters to to itself. So, uh, what this means, we'll see just in a second. Anyway. Uh, 
here are the functions uh, we we already started with the GTK toggle button new which creates a new toggle button a widget should be packed into the button as in GTK button new and it does a new toggle button we, so this is uh, our first function which we already call it and uh, we go back to signals we said that the signals which is the second uh, uh, this is the first parameter our button this is the second one the signal and the signal says uh, toggle it I will uh, go inside it and says the toggle signal uh, it's a function should be connected if you wish to perform an action wherever the GTK toggle button state is changed this means if it's click it or not okay we know this so we are gonna use this toggle signal I will copy it because it goes faster yeah. okay the third one uh, here I was used GTK main, but it's wrong because uh, we need to to work with our uh, toggle button. So uh, we will need we will need to create a function. Yeah. So the function, uh, like it says here, I will copy this. I will paste it here. Uh, I will clean a little bit because I don't like this uh, signature. Sorry guys. Sorry GTK guys. Okay. So. This is the function, and uh, hmm, let's see. G print. We we'll go. We're gonna call just G print, and we say the button was closed. Ah man, click it. It's better. Closed. Okay. Now. We copy the name of the function, we pass it here, and now G Signal Connect has uh, the first parameter, which is the instance, is the button, the second one is the signal, the third one is the user function, is the function which we created, and the, third, the fourth one is null. Null means we are not passing to this function no parameter. Well, uh, even if this function should be clear for you, which is not entirely uh, this function is not. Why? Because the detailer signal says we have to create a function which expects two parameters but we are not using them and also here we didn't pass uh, no uh, data to the function so this means we need to silence this wording because if I run the problem now you see it says no proper okay I need to write okay now <coughs> Uh, unused parameter toggle button and user data yeah it's true because I don't use them so we, we, we need to find a way to silent it this means we are gonna cast it to void and the first one is the toggle button the second one is data or user data whatever use data okay I will run the program now and we have Houston we have a problem don't be scared we're gonna fix it because uh, even we, if we use the G signal co uh, connect function which says we need an instant we did it a signal we did it a C handle we did it and a data even if it's not we did it there is the second function which complains about uh, something here it says passing argument 3 of the G signal connect data from incompatible pointer type so the first one is instant, the second one is the telecent, and the, the third one is C handle. Okay, wait. It looks like it is the same. So uh, where's the problem? Well, if we go down here, we'll see the C handler is uh, that story with a G callback to connect. What this means? Well, let's go back. Let's go back a little bit. Uh, let's go back a little bit uh, where I was. Um, wait, wait, wait. Uh, because now I'm, uh, I'm not sure. Uh, wait a second. Uh, there was no, no, no. I'm sorry, guys. I need to go to the function. So here, watch. Uh, when I uh, connects connects to a Z callback function to a sig uh, to, uh, to a signal for a particle object. So when I went here inside, it said here use G callback. To cast the callback function to G callback, of, of course, because because uh, when we create our user function, our user function is a void function, so we need to cast it. This means G call G callback, and we 
by our function, we run it, we see what happens, it should happen, something good for us, and yes. Now, when I click the button, it says the button was clicked, I click it again and again and again, again, you see the state of the button, now it's white, now it's green because it's clicked, release it, click and so on, it works fine. Now, let's move on to the second one. Okay, uh, uh, we don't need this anymore, we don't need this anymore too, and we, we're gonna go to uh, new with label, I'm gonna copy the name because I don't want to write it, and uh, I will see here. Uh, click me I run it it's just a name for our button to to inform the user that's a button or I know which kind of button click me send reside wherever it works fine okay this is the toggle button uh, with label the second one the third one is with mnemonic uh, with mnemonic like we already learned from the previous uh, uh, videos we need an underscore to uh, to mark our uh, letter which can be used with a keyboard combination to hit the button to, to click this button so I run it and uh, as you can see it looks the same like a regular uh, button with a label when I hit the alt there is the underscore, which means at this point I can hit the C uh, K on the keyboard. Watch, you see this? As long as I will keep press this C, it's press and release it. Okay. Now uh, this works fine. Go to the next function. The next function will be the button set mode. Uh, set whatever button. Uh, we will not go talk uh, about this function now. Why? Because this function only affects instance of classes like GTK check button and GTK radio button. So we have no uh, button like this because we have a toggle button. Okay. So this is not for us. Uh, get mode is the same. Uh, GTK toggle button toggle. Uh, emits toggle signal that there is no good reason you see this there is no good reason for an application ever to call this function so we are going to ignore it uh, th the next one is uh, gtk toggle button get active what this means uh, queries uh, gtk toggle button and returns its current state returns true if the toggle button is pressed and false if it's raised what this means let's see so we have our function here which is good. Okay, now we're gonna take the benefit of this uh, uh, parameter and we're gonna use an if statement and we're gonna say if GTK toggle button get active says we, we need a button uh, which is uh, okay, okay, this is wrong because GTK widget we need to use here a widget so we, and now we can we need to gtk uh, toggle button button and our uh, toggle button here and the next one will be uh, wait I'm, I'm to here and the next one will be true if it's true oh, no 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 it's just only one sorry guys it's only one parameter which is this one so this says uh, the button was clicked else the button was listed okay let's run the function see what happens oh, okay we, we we need to drop the silence uh, which is this one because we don't need it okay run again now we we, we take uh, this watch watch now I click says the button was click it I click again the button was release it click it release and so on so this is the the state uh, th this is the uh, about the function gtk toggle button get active now uh, what does means this the next function which uh, gtk button set active well 
uh, when you run the program like here you see the button is not clicking which means it's, it is in the releasing mode but if for some reason you need to create an application where buttons has to be click it when the application runs and not release it we you can do it with the help of the uh, gtk button uh, toggle button uh, set active so this means we go here just after the button uh, we need the gtk toggle button uh, cast gtk toggle button and, uh, and then our toggle button and uh, the next uh, is says g boolean is active well let's set it to true run the program and ta -da! you see the button is placed it's green which means when i click now it will say release it yes was released because it was click it and that's it and now comes uh, very interesting part which uh, I don't know how can I talk with you today but hmm, let's see uh, when uh, at the beginning of this uh, video I was telling you that there are three states well is true and not because you maybe know that there are only two states which is uh, toggled uh, when you click it and when you release the button so this means when it's active and when it's not but there is uh, there are two functions which we are not gonna talk today about them too much because uh, I will have to figure out a better way to to help you understand uh, what exactly means and those functions are GTK toggle button set in cons consistent and gtk toggle button set get and set inconsistent well uh, gets the value uh, set by the as a uh, okay this function uh, is just to get you, you you need to get used in gtk they are almost every possible widget has a function has to function one which one one which sets something and the one which gets something so uh, let's see gtk toggle button set inconsistent says if the user has selected a range of elements such as some text or spreadsheet cells they are affected by a toggle button uh, that are affected by toggle button and the current value in the range are inconsistent you may want to display the toggle in a between state this function turns on in between display normally you will turn it off uh, you will turn off the inconsistent state again if the user toggles the button of course it's true this has to be done manually with the function set only affects whatever so uh, as you can see there is another state call it in between state so it's not click it it's not release it it's between I'm not sure now sorry guys but I, I, I'm not really sure now how, how, how can I is it explain you so i will just skip it but just remember a button has no only two states like you probably talk there are three states and and, and, and somehow it's true because if you press uh, press a button the button has uh, all the way down from up to down so when you press it you touch it and then you go down until you reach the button side uh, until you are there you are in the between state so this between state you can use it in some applications just remember that okay thank you guys uh, if you like it please subscribe and share it and uh, leave a comments about if there is something which uh, we need to take care in the next tutorials about GTK toggle buttons until uh, then see you guys